welcome back to my channel i'll be showing you guys how to make some pie right we're gonna make two pie one apple pie and one coconut cream pie but first we're gonna do the apple pie to make this flaky crust we want to um use flour and we want to make sure the butter is cold as well as cold water right so let's get started add the butter the cold butter to the flour and this is all purpose flour i've already added salt to the flour right so we're gonna add the butter and we're gonna use a pastry um cutter to just bind uh or combine the butter with the flour right So the texture that we're going for guys it should look like a cornmeal right okay so the reason why we're going for a cornmeal um texture is because when the butter combined with the flour it should look a bit coarse right so we're going to use as i said earlier we're going to use this to combine the butter with the flour we're also incorporating ear in the flour and the butter right so we're going to use our the tip of our finger to mix everything in or to blend everything in that's what we're going for and remember to do this guys if you have um, hands that easily get hot just wash your hands before because we don't want the butter to melt quickly right And you should always use icy cold water for this um, pastry. For this, we had used like three cups of flour and a tablespoon of cold vegan butter. Yes, so we, we achieved the texture that we're going for. It's supposed to look something a bit like this. You don't want to add too much water now, guys, because we're not making fried dumpling. We're making a flaky pastry. So you don't want to use too much water and also you don't want to over knead. You just want enough water to bring the dough together, right? For this dough guys you, you make sure you want to just um as i said earlier you want to just bring it together and don't over knead it because we don't want to activate the protein and the gluten in it you don't want a stretchy pie crust you want it to just be just right right so we're going to add um sorry we're going to put this in the refrigerator for like an hour um to just relax it and then we get back to it i've gone ahead though and make a pie crust for you guys so we can just get right in the procedure right so we're going to put this in a cling wrap and put it in the fridge okay so we're moving into making the pie the pie filling right so we're going to use some lady pink apple i prefer these they're crunchy and nice and for my spice i have clove right so you just use that the top of that clove the head you just take it off and grind some of them put in there and we have cinnamon and it's not a spice but we have cornstarch it's just to bring the apples together while it bake right and of course sugar so we're gonna start with the apples so you want to peel your apples And you can use a seed remover and just you know just remove the inner part of the apple cut it in half you just nicely chop them right and guys you can use any filling that you like if you like pineapple you can go right ahead and you can use them okay so to these apples we're gonna add the cinnamon the clove I just add these you don't have to add the clove but I like the smell of it um, cornstarch and the sugar I'm 
just get your hands in there and mix everything, blend everything together, right? Okay, guys, we're going to roll out the dough now. This is the part that is going to work here a little bit. So be prepared. You can always roll this in a parchment paper or grease paper, but I just prefer to roll it on a countertop. So just sprinkle a little flour just to prevent the dough from sticking to the surface. And we're going to start. And we want to get the dough about a half inch thick very thin we're going to roll the dough onto the rolling pin to transport it over to the pipe pan right so we're going to do something like that very easy be gentle now you don't have to rush this procedure so you can just you know fold the dough into the tin the pie pan Ooh, guys oh my god I can't wait for this to finish baking not like I can have it now because it's night time <laughs> but it looks delicious. A scissors would have worked so nice, you know guys, but I don't have one. And you want to bind the, the, the first dough with the second dough, right? And you can be very creative with this um, step, but I'm going to use a fork. So you can just press the, the, the fork at the edge of the pie dough to kind of bind it together and as well as for design so like I said you can be very creative you can pinch it you can do any design at all that you want you can twist the, the end of it but I just choose to use the fork you can be creative with this part I'm going to punch a few ear holes so let me just put a little here can make some longer than some. Add it to the oven now for 20 minutes and we get right back to you, right? Okay guys, our pie has finished baking. We're going to allow it to cool and then we can cut into it. We're going to move on to now our coconut cream pie. 